It's always an exciting day to be trying the first from the house. Very first one from the house of Capucci for me. This is Capucci Por Homme. And、um, it's a very flimsy box. First impression coming up spray time. My name is Dave. Welcome to my place. Where we talk about fragrance and also a blind buy so you don't have to. But, um. Oh, okay. Coming out the first sprays. This was recommended by Trevor, one of the subscribers. Thank you very much. I always appreciate it, especially the classics.、I'm, I've been into the classics for the past couple of years since the pandemic.、Just、get to spend a lot of time and enjoy the fragrance of the past. And a lot of time I feel they're more powerful, more substance, okay, more depth, more oomph, okay, more manly type of stuff. And, um, Especially some of the classic, it's very either you know what, even the、um, ladies are still very more powerful, okay, with the Alda High and、um, a lot of strong white floral the, and Dolly Jasmine. So, I like both of the you know, masculine and unisex, I'm sorry, masculine and feminine offering. Now, this one is the freshy, okay, right away, yes, is that going towards the classics. This is the um. Eau Sauvage, not the Dior Sauvage, but Dior Eau Sauvage, the classical barbershop type of vibe with some of the oak moss. But this is on the lighter side of the oak moss with a lot of citrus, with some, yeah, some tobacco, some citrus, some lavender. It's all coming up very quickly. A n i s e I think there's a n i s e I, I was just using、um, I was just using my Azaro p o r o m last night, and that was a n i s e strong. There's a lot of stuff in there. This is a very typical, very welcoming type of 70s or、uh, 80s powerhouse where they will give you the whole kitchen sink, everything you think of. And you can, you can spend a lot of time trying to pick out the different notes in here. And I appreciate that, makes it more interesting. But this for sure, I will use this, this type of fresh on the、um, aftershave or, or in the morning, after shower, just to freshen up. Be able to feel the vibe, feel the energy. I like this. c a p u c c i I'm guessing, is Italian. Okay, so it's c a p u c c i por om. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry about that. If I, <laughs> I was playing around, I don't mean to torture um, your, um, your language. But this absolutely has the Italian、uh, fragrance vibe. I have a lot of the、um, Amalfi, the Agua de Parma. Line and this is similar to that, but this is more old school, more barbershop type. The oak moss is coming out very strong after that citrus kind of d i e off a little bit. I'm sure there's a mixture of citrus, you gotta believe this bergamot, some lemon in here, and there's a bit of green. The lavender gotta be in here for sure. This is a fougere for sure, and different type of、um, floral in there in the back. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. But it's a little bit lighter than I thought. I don't, you know, I, I think it's probably because, well, the first of all, it's EDT, so it's gonna, not gonna last way too long. But maybe it's been around for a while. I'm guessing this is、uh, more of a classic. You tell from the bottle itself, the cap. It's a nice atomizer, no problem. The cap is not super cheapy, okay, there's some weight to it. The bottle itself is pretty simple. I like the simplicity, I actually like this. No, actually, I really like this, okay? I'm just saying,、uh, it's a little bit similar to the other classics that I have, and I, I'm, I'm glad. This was a cheap, I picked that up for $23, and this is a very good recommendation. I'm glad I'll be able to get into the house. Thank you, Trevor. So, the top, the citrus is kind of still here, still here after a few minutes. And then I'm getting some of the lavender is coming through. But there's stuff in the back that I can't really. I cannot easily tell what they are, which is good. I'll look it up afterwards, but I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and maybe,、um, you know, the next day I'll look it up, see what else I could pick out. It's kind of a game for me. A lot of the time after I do the first impression, the reviews, and I'll, I'll keep wearing it, even spray it on more, and kind of just have fun to see if I could pick out anything else before I look it up. You know, it's just a, it's just a fun game I do. I wanna see what else I'm missing. And that's a way to be the, you know, train the nose just a bit. But I'm, sh- I'm sure I'm picking up the, I'm sure there's some the typical citrus. 
All right, the bergamot, lemon, and lime, and all. Yeah, and then there's some anise, and then I'm getting lavender for sure, some moss. Maybe there's some. Yeah, that's how I'm picking it up right now. And some green, I can't tell exactly what it is. So it is a very, very nice uh, put together fragrance for sure. And it's, I would say, it's, for sure it's more masculine than your typical unisex modern day scent. It's going to be leaning for the um, maybe 25 and up. But hey, if you're 25 and up, this is one of those that's easy for you to use. And you really feel a bit of nostalgia of the classics, and yet it's still very good. Okay, it does not smell uh, out of date. Maybe if you're a young youngster, 16 or 18, you might think this is out of date. But you know what? One day you're gonna be able to enjoy this when your nose get up to it. Okay, when your nose catch up, and then um, things are always in cycle. If you look at fashion, if you look at how what people say or what people do or things like that in the society. A lot of things will come back in fashion, and I think the smell of um, fragrance, you know, would do that. Okay, somehow it just does, you know. <clears throat> and this will get back in fashion, but I hope this will stick around. Though this is, uh, I always enjoy this type of classic type of scents. Uh, this is on the citrusy side. So what this does is, I always refer to, to the pearl green, where it's very strong, powerful, and dense. And then you have the other one, you know, there's a whole bunch in the, in, in the, in the um, classical category. But you have this one is on the lighter side and that will freshen you up a little bit. It still give you the, the taste of that, uh, the old classic powerhouse, the, 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 the smell of it, the scent, but it doesn't, doesn't really push your nose. It doesn't really, uh, it does not really, uh, you know, force itself upon you, okay? upon your nose, but it just, you know, very nice and just uh, flowing around. Do you know, I mean, and this is a very fresh, manly type of scent. And I say manly in the, in the best of ways that feel, you know, like, you know, very manly, right? You know, you lower your tone of voice a little bit. You, you sound a little bit more um, put together. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, this is all I'm be able to pick up right now. I think longevity will be okay. Half a day, three or four hours is okay. Should be good. Yeah. So with that said, I I'm definitely gonna be living uh, with this for a couple of days. And if you know it's necessary for follow-up, I'll do so. But I'm enjoying this, okay? I like that category very much. So it's not super unique. You know, I smell kind of uh, this type of scent. Uh, kind of in the other fragrance, especially the Aqua de Parma Colonial line or the um, Dior Eau, Eau Sauvage or any of those type. And I love this, okay. It's not exactly like anything that I have, but in the same genre for sure, okay. It's gonna be for all season. This is summertime, wintertime, anytime that you wanna wear, okay. This is a little bit like Dunhill edition that I just recently uh, reviewed not too long ago. So if you're looking for that classic, this is a no-brainer, $23, are you kidding me? This is a great pickup, very great pickup. Um, yeah, that's, I think I should cover everything. For sure, this is an Italian vibe, okay? It, if you know what that smells like, that's it, okay? And it's kind of like barbershop fougere type, and that's it, okay? Yeah, I love this one. As always, I hope that is helpful. See you next time.